Hey guys, it's Job Wise Jones here, coming right back at you. This is going to be a different video today because I get a lot of questions, you know, and I can't answer them all during my videos, so I thought I'd make a special video just for these questions. Now, most of these questions come from MA subscribers, already part of my family already, so I thought I'd today I'd make a, some time to answer some of these questions. Uh, the subscribers, of course, are MAs, some think about going into the MA field, some who are already MAs already, so they have some questions. So I wanna go through about 10 questions and answers to help you out. First one was from Ty. Ty is out of Arizona. Ty is asking me, who are you? <laughs> Why do you do this, right? Great question, I'm Job Wise Jones, or Jonesy is fine for me. I was an MA many years ago, and so uh, back then when I was an MA, people didn't even know what that was. Uh, now today people are starting to learn more and more about the field, but what I saw last year when I first started this channel, the reason why I did this channel was because I didn't feel there was enough professional oversight or understanding of what a medical assistant is. I also felt also there wasn't enough positive energy regarding the medical assisting field. I think we have to educate ourselves and educate people what a medical assistant is and so that's why I do this channel right so I started out like number 92 for medical assistants on YouTube right now I'm number three and number two number one they, they have a lot of followers much more than I do but I'm part of that I rose up very fast because I was putting out really good content regarding medical assisting from the professional point of view now I work in hospitals I'm a hospital manager so I can really help to expose the positivity of medical assistance more. This is why I do this. You know, I really believe in the MA field. I believe it has a great place in the future. And I really want someone like myself to help advocate for it. So that's what I do. So first question from D from Arizona says, how much should medical assistant school cost? That's variable because you guys know I'm not a fan of online medical assisting school. The reason why if you are going to be dealing with people on an on-hands approach, right? That means phlebotomy, means EKG, means taking basic uh, basic uh, vitals, right? On a patient, I really believe only a brick and mortar school can teach you that. Also till you get to talk to other MAs out there, our students in the school, you know, it brings about that camaraderie, you know, the friendship you're gonna have. Some of your fellow students in school will be future references for you because some are going to climb faster and some are not. But it doesn't matter because you guys are going to be a family. So I think a family is developed by interpersonal relationships. It's hard to get that online. So how much should it cost? I don't know, you guys. I hear anywhere from 9000 to 20000 You just have to make sure the school has the you know, accreditation, the certified teachers, you know, Look at the reputation of the school, how many are they hiring per graduating class, things like that. So it's kind of, uh, you know, variable there, guys. I can't give you an exact figure. Carmen in South Carolina is asking me, uh, can I make a day in the life of a medical assistant? <laughs> and why don't I do that? No, I cannot make that because I'm not a medical assistant anymore. <laughs> she asked, if no, What's a, your, your opinion of the day in the life of medical assistant videos? Look, I'm not here to critique anybody doing anything good for MAs. I think it's great. I think it's fun, you know, the, the, uh, mostly they're females on there who are doing these fun videos, you know, and they're doing the nails and their makeup and they're going to work and they're showing you what they do. That's cool, you know, because it gives you an insight on, on what an MA does. And honestly, I can't give you that kind of insight because the day in the life of a medical assistant video, those are like the color of a pretty car, right? A nice BMW, you know? If it's red, those are the are those videos, right? They're very red, they're very pretty. I'm the guy you don't see. I'm under the engine, dealing with the oil, make sure the water goes here, make sure the AC works, you know? I'm dealing with the nitty gritty of the medical field, right? Accreditation, get you ready for your tests, you know? Um, give you interview help. Uh, that's what I do. So I'm the guy in the background that you don't see. 
You know, those guys are like the stars. I'm the person in the back making sure the engine's working, working right. So yeah, they're fine. You know, I don't have no problem at all with all the day in the life of a medical assistant. They look very fun to tell you the truth, you know. Plus, I have a face made for radio. I don't have a face made for video. So if I had a face made for video and I was still a medical assistant, I would do it too. So there we go. <laughs> Jules in Alabama. Is medical assisting a good way to go to become an RN? Sure, if that's what you want to do, sure. But remember, guys, medical assistant can be a career for all your life, okay? It can also be a career to get you into other places as well that are even non-medical, right? I went from medical assisting to city planning, okay? So I worked all day long as an MA. I went to school full-time at night at university. I uh, got my master's, <laughs> well, got my BA first in urban studies, got my master's in economics, and I became a city planner. So... Either way, if you want to be an MA all your career, that's fantastic. That kind of person is going to be a wealth of good information, right? He or she will know a lot about it. Or you can go to another field, you know, OT, uh, you know, uh, whatever you want to do, you know, it doesn't matter. Sure, but is it a good way to become an RN? It is. If that's your goal, that's no problem at all. Scott of California, what's my opinion of other MA videos? 99% of these videos I see, I think they're great. I think the more you can advertise for your occupation in a positive light is good. You know, uh, Scott says, do you consider them competition? No, <laughs> no, because we're all going towards the same mountaintop, right? I'm just over here and they're over here, but we're trying to advertise the MA field in a, in a positive light. I see them as a teammate that I don't know who that's on my team. That's all I see it as. They're not competition because they're putting out different content than I'm putting out, right? I'm giving you the, the heavy stuff, you know, I'm, I'm talking about the cost of school and, 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 and how to get ready for an interview and things like that, right? And some, some MA videos are about fun stuff, you know, some are more serious, you know, it just all depends, but no, they're not, they're not my competition. Victoria, huh, Victoria from Canada, yeah, cool. She's asking, uh, you talked about being careful on social media as a medical assistant, yes. That's a huge issue for me. You guys who are MAs, you have to understand your social media has to be, it can be fun, but it cannot be vulgar because you're going, social media is fine. You got the First Amendment. You can express yourself any way you, way you want. But because you have that right, should you do that, right? I see some crazy videos out there from medical assistants talk about guns and gang stuff and all this crazy stuff on there, you know, or just being totally out of line because patients will look at that. Friends will look at that. Possible future MAs will, will, will look at that. You have to understand you're in a professional career and you have to protect that for others as well, not just for yourself, but also for others too, because it's a professional career. It's fun to have fun on TikTok and all that stuff. It's great, but just be careful. That's all I'm asking you. Can I tell you that? No, but I'm asking you to understand it's more than just you, okay? Um, Nate, South Carolina again. Why do you always talk about the MA reputation? Well, because we're in, it's still a, a newish field. People still don't know about it. So the more professional you come off, the more professional you, you appear, you seem to be, you talk about at the job, it's better for the MA field, right? Uh, I was at the pharmacist uh, last month I got when I got my COVID shot, right? I couldn't tell the pharmacy tech from the pharmacist. They were both so professional. I, I, was, I didn't know who was who, you know, until I read the name tag. That's been the same way in a clinic. When I go into a clinic, I should not be able to discern you as an MA from a nurse. I should see the same professionalism, same behavior, same education, same everything, right? I should be impressed to the point that I don't know who's who. That's why I care about the MA, uh, MA re reputation. Now, if I see somebody out there who's loud and, and, and making crazy noises and talking bad about people, acting like they're the only ones in the room, it's going to look bad if that's an MA. You know, if it's a nurse, well, that's on nursing. But if it's a medical assistant, then that hurts my heart because I want you guys to understand your reputation is an advertisement for patients and also for future MAs who want to get into the field, right? Uh, should the, oh, L Lillian from North Dakota. Should the MA career be licensed? Yes, I think it should. And this is why. Because licensed LPNs, right? Registered nurses are registered, right? I think at some point they're going to ask 
the MAs to become licensed because we uh, MAs are the only field out there uh, in the in the, in, in the light that are not licensed or reg registered. So yes, I think eventually it's going to become a, a licensed field. <clears throat> I really believe that. You know, maybe not this year, or next year, but I think. It's going to go that way. I really believe that. I, I do. <coughs> Carolyn from Rhode Island says, "What should MAs under What should MA students understand? Understand the cost of your school. Understand it, is it accredited or not? Understand that your classmate, who's your buddy, who's your friend today, will become your competition tomorrow. Also, make sure the school has job placement." has externship placement as well, and also resume help, okay? Those are important things, my friends. Jackie from Florida. I'm a medical assistant for the past six years. I'm not certified. Is certification necessary? Jackie, good question. Look, you have all the skills already. You're probably really good. You know, it's probably great. But if you're looking to climb up the ladder to go hire somewhere else, you might want to think about getting that certification. I'm sure you could pass it. You're doing everything already. Hell, you could probably even write that test if you wanted to <laughs> after six years, right? But it just looks good on your resume, you know? If you're going to stay there in your clinic for the next 20 years, then no. But if you're going to go other places in the career field for the MMAs, then yeah, you should. You should definitely think about getting that done for sure. And the last question I have here is, is should I join the AAMA? And I say, yes, you should because you want to be part of the family. Like I tell you guys here, join JobWise Jones because I'm part of the family as well. I am have I have a family here, 405 subscribers. Uh, some people come here and look and they go. But my subscribers, though, are the family. They're the ones who are investing in me because I'm investing in you. Uh, my time, my effort, like today, right? And what I get back out of that is I want to help you guys get your careers. You know, that's so important to me. When I get these people who get the new jobs, I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic, you know, or the ones who pass a CCMA test and say, hey, job boys, your, your videos help me out a little bit. That's fantastic, right? That's part of the family. But a bigger family is the AAMA. So, yeah, you should definitely join that for sure, you guys. You guys, thanks a lot. I just wanted to tell you guys, the, I want to answer these questions for you guys because it's easier to answer everybody at once than do an individual uh, email to everybody. If you guys have any comments, you have any questions, because I'll do this again in a few months again. Any questions about the MA field or whatever, I'll answer you individually, but I'll also go to make a video of your questions too, to, so everybody gets the information at the same time. It's wonderful doing these videos. Please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. We can grow our channel together. Come a big family, you know, right? And also, please, if you like the video, hit like, right? Uh, comment, please, as well. If you want to get a hold of me, jobwisejones at gmail.com. Very easy. Jobwisejones at gmail.com. All right, you guys. Have a good day. I got to go do some things. I'll come back later and do another video. Take care. Bye-bye.